Hello, my name is Larry, and today we're going to demonstrate how to work the placer tamping machine, GRM3000T. We have showed you in previous videos how to start the engine, and now the engine is running. Turn the travel work switch to the work position. Then, before you go outside to lower the buggies, you want to turn the vibrators on so they can be warming up. On the tamping screen, press the vibrators push button to turn them on. The first step after coming out of the cabin is to release the cord tension for the lifting system. I will demonstrate that now. The next step is lowering the rear buggy. I will demonstrate that now. Okay, the next step after the rear buggy is lowered is move to the middle buggy and lower it down on the rail. Next step is to release the lining cord tension. I will demonstrate that now. After releasing the lining cord tension, we need to pull the pin that locks the front buggy in place. I'll demonstrate that now. Now we're going to lower the front buggy down on the rail. Bring it up here and place it over the top. Now we're going to pull the front buggy out. The next step is installing the push boom on the front buggy tower. I will demonstrate that now with the, my assistant. Now we're going to hook up the pneumatic connections. There's red tape on each hose, so match the colors and connect. The next step, we're going to hook up the electrical connections to the front buggy. Okay, now the next step is to tighten the lining cord. Just snug it up, leave it a little, a little slack because we have a pneumatic cylinder at the rear to take up the excess cord. Just take the slack out is all you have to do. Bring this lock up, lock it back so it doesn't free, free wheel. It's locked. After the lining cord has been tightened at the front buggy location, we now have to go back to the rear of the machine and tighten the lifting cord. Again, we just take the slack out of the cable as we have a cord tensioning cylinder that will tighten the cord for us. Back on the tamping screen, you raise and unlock the tamping units 
by pressing the tamping on button followed by the unit's up button, followed by the unit's lock button. Unlock the tamping head slide locks and position the units over the rails. On the surfacing screen, turn on the lift and lining tensions. On the clamp screen, unlock the clamp frame by pushing the clamp's locked push button. Push the clamp's lift button on B51 panel to raise the clamps out of the locks and then push the clamp's lower button on the B51 panel to lower the clamps onto the rail. When the clamps are on the rail, you will get an indication either on the B9 panel or the clamp screen. On the B52 panel, select the lining reference. This will be the high rail in a curve or the field side in tangent. On the B51 panel, set the cross level switch to the opposite position of the lining reference. This will be the low rail in a curve. This completes the basic work setup. To work the machine, you would make adjustments or change settings in the various screens on the PLC. Thank you and have a nice day.